Okay, I'm finally back again, and this time I have a book haul, and it's a rather large book haul, so um, I'm going to see if I can fit all the books into this video, but I'll keep an eye on the time. If it starts to run too long, I'll just do half, I'll stop after half the books, and then I'll make a second uh, bit video for the rest of the books. Any book that I mention in this video, I'll have the it's good read it's good reads link down in the description, and if I mention any book tubers, I'll also have them linked in the description. So the first book that I got was The Forgotten Island by David so so Sodergren. I love this cover. I thought this was a mummy, but apparently it's not a mummy story. Um, it's about some people that get stranded on a deserted island. I believe it takes place somewhere near Thailand. And uh, there's, of course, something evil there on the island. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And then the next book that I got is The Hot Zone by Richard Preston. And this is actually a nonfiction book about um, the Ebola virus and that apparently there was like a small outbreak in Washington, D.C. And so uh, I've already started it, actually, but I kind of quit in order to read some other things. But I plan to get back to it very soon because what I did read, I really, really liked. So looking forward to that one. And then I got... Uh, the American Senator by Anthony Trollope. And this is actually for uh, Steve Donahue's um, Lonely Trollope read-along. Um, for the read-along, you read one standalone Trollope novel per month, and I had not read any Trollope, so I thought I would participate. This would be an excellent opportunity for me to see what I think of Anthony Trollope. This is actually the third book um, in the read-along, which I have not started yet, and I'm, we're supposed to be reading it this month. And so um, I'm going to try to start this soon, but honestly, I'm not as excited to read this one as I was Mr. Scarborough's family. So um, so I may not get to this one. I might skip and read it later. I haven't decided yet. Okay, the next book I got was The Langoliers by Stephen King. Now, this was like a made-for-TV movie or possibly a miniseries. I think it might have been a miniseries, actually. And I did watch that when I was young, and I really, really liked it. I thought it was so good. And so I'd never read the book, so I decided that I would, I would read that. They just recently re-released it. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And um, the next book I got I saw on uh, The Shades of Orange. It's called Subcutanean by Aaron A. Reed. And this book is about um, some friends who f go into a basement on their college campus and they're, I believe it's like a sorority house or something like that, a frat house maybe. And um, the basement turns into some weird labyrinth. And apparently um, it's a scary novel, of course. Um, but the thing about this that attracted, the thing that attracted me to this novel in particular is that the author has made each book unique. Each book is a little bit different, like maybe a paragraph is changed or, you know, something happens, plays out just a little bit differently in the story. And I thought that was kind of reminiscent of those choose your own adventure books, only you're not choosing, you know what I mean? I'm really interested in trying this um, just to see. I just thought it sounded interesting. Uh, the next book I got is Alien Oceans by Kevin Peter Hand, also a nonfiction. This is about the possibility of life in the oceans um, on other celestial bodies. Like, you know, there are a lot of moons around Jupiter and Saturn, and some of them have oceans that could possibly contain life in them. You know, they're covered up by a thick layer of ice, of course. And um, I have seen documentaries uh, about that. Um, and so I don't know if there's going to be any new information in this book for me or not, but I intend to give it a try and find out. I'm really excited to read this one, so I'd really like to get to it soon. Uh, let's see. Then, um, then I have my Book of the Month Club books. I got three. Um, this was the actual Book of the Month Club, one of the book of the of the month club choices. It's called The Book of Longings by Sue Monk Kidd, and it is about a romance between Jesus and some woman. That's all I can remember about the description. Let me just read you the synopsis real quick. I am Anna. I was the wife of Jesus Ben Joseph of Nazareth. All my life, longings lived inside me, rising up like nocturnes to wail and sing through the night. That my husband bent his heart to mine on our thin straw mat and listened was the kindest was the kindest I most loved in him. Was the kindness, excuse me, I most loved in him. What we heard, or <laughs> I cannot read today. What he heard was my life begging to be born. So I don't really go for uh, religious stories. And I don't know how, um, how 
grounded in religion this is going to be. It kind of sounds like it's just a fictional story based on Jesus and his wife. So um, I'm really interested in seeing what this is going to be like. The curiosity got the better of me. Not my normal read, but I really intend to give it a try because I'm really interested, at, you know, on what this is going to be like. I can always DNF it and give it away if I don't like it. And then this was one of my Book of the Month Club add-ons, World War Z by Max Brooks. I'm really, really looking forward to to reading this. I did read the, uh, watch the movie rather, but I've heard that the movie and the book are nothing alike. So I'd really like to see what the book is like. Actually, this author has another book coming out this year called um, De-Evolution, and it's a it's a big fit story, and I'd really, really like to, um, to, to read that. I actually requested it from Nat Galley, but it, my request is still pending. It's been pending for like two months. But anyways, but I'd really, really like to read it, so I'm hoping I get a, approved for it. And if I don't, well, it's one I'll definitely be picking up when it comes out. Hi, Ninja Kitty. Hi, baby. Ninja Kitty came for a visit. How's my little sweet boy? Oh, you little precious. Okay, now I'm going to get cat hair all over. <laughs> okay, my second Book of the Month Club add-on was The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I read The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware and oh, absolutely loved it. I just really, really enjoyed that book. So I'm hoping I will enjoy this one just as much. It takes place on a cruise ship, so... We'll see what happens on that one. How am I doing on time? Seven minutes. We'll just keep going. Okay, so another book that I got was um, book two in the Star Trek The Next Generation series called The Peacekeepers. I have not read book one yet, so I don't know that I'm going to enjoy <laughs> this series. So I'm kind of taking a risk by, by uh, pushing ahead and purchasing book two. But what the hey, I'm willing to take the chance. And then I got book two in the Red Sonia series, uh, and it's called Demon Knight by David C. Smith and Richard L. Tierney. And again, I haven't read book one in this one either, but I don't know. I got a wild hair and I just ended up buying these. I bought them on the same day. <laughs> and then this was a gift from my friend Greeny. Thank you, Greeny. It's called Convenient Store Woman by... Sayaka Murata, I probably butchered that name, but it's about a girl who starts working in a convenience store and she doesn't fit in very well. And um, apparently she learns um, how to be more social and stuff from working in this convenience store, at least that's my impression. So, and it's really short, so I'm really looking forward to this. I've been wanting to read this for a while and now I have the chance. And then I got The Game We Don't Play Anymore by Mike DeFrench. Mike DeFrench is actually a booktuber. His channel is called Pints and Paperbacks, and I really enjoy his channel. I really like his personality, and um, he's written, uh, he's published two books. This is one of them, and it is about um, some people playing a game, and something goes wrong while they're playing the game, and I don't really remember any more than that, except that, you know, something goes wrong, and it's science fiction based, so I'm looking forward to reading that and seeing how, what kind of a writer Mike DeFrench is. And then this one I got from a little free library. It's an old copy of True Grit. Yeah. I love the story of True Grit. I really don't go for stories that are set in the Old West very often, but this is one of them that I really, really enjoyed. And so when I, and I've never uh, read the book. I, I've watched both of the movies, loved both of them. And so when I saw this book in the little free library, I decided I just, I had to have that. You know, I don't know who the author is. Charles Portis is the author. Okay. And then I got Christine by Stephen King, which I've already read. And I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really good. Um, however, it was not um, perfect. There were some questions and some criticisms that I had for it. But overall, I really did enjoy it. Hello again, Ninja Baby. How's my little kitty? What's my little kitty doing? <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> and then... I got The Southern Book, Club, Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. And I have also already read this one. And I really, really liked this book. Um, you know what? I'm not going to say anything more than I really did like it. And I do recommend this if you like horror that is not with humor. There's a lot of humor in here as well. And I really liked this author's sort of... Um, 
quirky and unique perspective on some things. So there was a lot, this book has a lot to offer, it really does. And I really enjoyed this. And I do plan to do a dedicated review of this. And I'm also gonna do a dedicated review of Christine. So you can look, look for those here in the short, in the near future. And then when I do do those videos, I will be sure to come back and link those um, in the screen, on the screen here. Okay, and then the next one I got is The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. Uh, I picked this book up for um, Rachel's book club over at the Shades of Orange. Um, I, I'm really, really enjoying her book club. It is so much fun. The, the, the other people are wonderful. We've had so many excellent conversations about books. I'm just getting so much out of that book club. I'm so glad I joined it. If you don't watch Rachel, I highly recommend that you go, that you watch her videos. I love her videos and her book club is excellent. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is the um, read for next month. And so uh, that's why I have this. I plan to read that with the book club. I think a lot of people have read that, so. Okay, and then I got finally the third um, novel in the uh, first, is it the first law? For, why do I always forget that? Yeah, it's the first law. This is book three in the first law trilogy. And so I'm hoping to start this series soon. I'd really like to read this trilogy. I it's it's been high up on my on my wants on my wants to read, you know. So on my wants to read on my want to read list. Yeah, I can speak English. Oh, and I love these editions too. I think these editions are so pretty. And then I got My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I have already read this one as well. I have a complicated opinion about this book. I, I really didn't enjoy it very much. And I think a lot of things that I won't go into since um, I do plan to do a dedicated review of this book as well. And once I do do that review, I will put the link for it up on the screen for you. I'm going to say I don't recommend that book, though. I will say that. I, I don't recommend it. Um, okay, and then the last book, oh, I'm doing so good on time. I'm so proud of me. I didn't even ramble that much. Okay, the last book is Conan the Barbarian, The Complete Collection by Robert E. Howard. This is an independently published edition. Um, I'm not sure. I think these are in the public domain now. You know what? I should have looked that up before I do the video, but y'all know me. I'm hardly ever really prepared, am I? Um, anyways, yeah, it's an independent publisher. I know that. Independently published book. Um, but I liked the cover real well, and, um, and I did want um, to read all of the stories. So I'm really, really looking. I have read a little bit of actually, and what I've read I've really liked. So I can't wait to actually delve in and read the whole thing. There is another version of the Conan stories that I would like to pick up that I saw on Pints and Paperbacks. And I really, really, really want that edition because it includes some original illustrations and it also the stories are laid out the way they were in the old pulp magazines like two columns per page so i'd really really like to have that experience so i am going to go back and pick up that edition as well when i get around to it okay and i'm so proud of me look how short i made that video under 15 minutes yay me so that is all of the books and not gonna say i'll see you in the next video